Your email screen has three panes, the Folders pane, the Work pane, and the Large Preview pane. The folders here work a lot like traditional inboxes and outboxes. Double-click to peek inside, and you're in for a surprise because Windows Live Mail automatically sorts your information into these folders. All new mail goes into the inbox. You can save a draft of an email in your Drafts folder until you're ready to send it. All sent mail stays in your sent folder until you delete it. You might want to check the junk folder just in case the program spam filter mistakenly places some of your important mail in here. Any mail that you delete stays retrievable in your deleted folder. And if you send or reply to an email, it's saved in the outbox if you're not connected to the internet. To send an email, click New, or if you don't like the mouse, hold down Control and press N. Type in the email address, if you know it. If you don't, click the To button and find the name of the person you want in the Contacts window. Click the name and then click OK. Fill in the subject. Type the message. And click Send. One thing to know. Windows Live Mail doesn't automatically spell check. You have to turn it on if you want the automatic check. Under Options and the Spelling tab, select Always Check Spelling Before Sending. To read your mail, go to the inbox and click on any message. The content shows up on the preview pane. Or if you double click a message, it opens up in its own window. From here, you have lots of options. You can read it and do nothing. You can reply. Click the Reply button, type a response, and then hit Send. If there are several people included on the email, you can click the Reply All button so everybody gets it. You can forward it to a friend, delete it, send it to junk mail, or print it. Windows 7 comes with a basic calendar, and if you click the Add to Calendar button, you can embed the email's message into any day you want. Typing names or words into the search box lets you find a sender or a particular email. To email a file to someone, create a new email. Then click the Attach button. A window pops up and you can browse until you find the file. Double-click on it, or on several files, and then click Open. It doesn't really open the files, it just attaches them to the email. If by some chance you attach the wrong file, don't worry. Just right-click on it and choose Remove. Once you've attached the file, click Send and you're done. If someone sends you an email with an attachment that you want to save, first open the email. Then right-click on the icon for the attached file and choose Save As. Choose where to save it and click Save. You can also save several files. Just right-click and select Save All. Now you're all set to send and receive email.